Hey guys, how's it going today? This is Captain Energy. Today I wanted to show you guys something kind of awesome. If you're not aware, Korg makes a DAW for the iOS and Macintosh environments called Gadget. Now Gadget is a pretty cool DAW. Basically, it is a DAW that has a bunch of instruments in it, which it refers to as gadgets, uh, which are smaller versions of bigger instruments, if that makes any sense. They kind of take the core elements that make that instrument special and something you would use and get rid of all the fluff, all the other stuff that you don't really necessarily need access to, and bring those instruments into this DAW so you can edit and tweak them and use them almost any way you want to. And it's pretty cool. I mean, it's, it's my favorite iOS DAW, to be honest with you, to play with as far as... Yeah, I love Cubasis as well, but I mean, when I just want to make a, a musical idea and just get it done, Gadget is the way I go. Cubasis generally takes me more time to produce in just because it's got so many options and that type of thing, and Gadget just gets down to it, if you know what I'm saying. I mean, sometimes you just want to, you know, get in there and get it done, you know, and that's what Gadget lets you do. So what I'd like to do uh, is introduce to you some cool VSTs. All of the instruments that are available in Gadget are available as little VSTs. You can see them right here on my screen. They're all made by Korg, which is pretty cool because Korg is, you know, they're right up there. They're one of my top instrument companies, uh, in my opinion, you know, they're one of the top ones for me. And right down here to the, uh, the Wolfsburg and all the way up top here to the Abu Dhabi, those are all core gadgets and they're really cool little instruments so i'd like to show them to you and show you why you might like to use them and also uh and tell you i mean what they're good for and just kind of go through them a little bit i think you might really dig these and they're really affordable you can get all these instruments for a pretty decent price and you'll have a stack of various types of instruments including stuff like video game type sounds and his Lexington, which is an ARP. Um, Lisbon is really cool. It uh, makes a lot of uh, really cool sounds for like trap type music. Uh, London's a drum machine. One, There's several different drum machines on here. The one I'm going to show you today, where I'm going to start with, is Gladstone. Gladstone, I'll just drag it in. There we go. Gladstone is an acoustic drum module. And it's pretty cool. It's got 10 pads on it. And we've got a compressor and an EQ. And these affect the computer compressor and EQ affect all of the drums. But panning, ambient send, dry level, decay, and tune affect each individual pad. So if I go through and, and click uh, right here, you'll notice that... You know, let's turn this way up. This is just for visual uh, to let you see that it's hap what's happening. If I go and press, that's on pad 7. <laughs> See, that's really loud now. If I go to pad six, you notice they moved because they're individual. Everything over here, though, like I said, these guys, the compressor and the EQ, affect everything. There are several drum kits pre-built for you here, and they range in, in type. We've got percussive kits, a cave kit, a mech kit, a mash kit. This particular drum machine is a little bit limited, and that's kind of cool. That's one of the things I kind of like about it is that, like I said, you just get in. You get into the music, you stop making music, and you go. That's all there is to it. You're not going to spend a million years picking samples and, and trying to load the perfect, you know, uh, rim shot in here because this particular drum machine has a limited library of sounds. You can build your own kits. If I click right here, okay, you'll notice there's this number 1 through 10 up here. Each of these numbers relates to one of the pads. Pad 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. If I go to pad 1, so click 1 right here, you'll notice it says kick. And that's, if I play pad 1, you see it triggering, you hear it kick playing, it's a kick. If I want a different kick, these are my options. Go with that one there for just for the sake of demonstration. Pad two. Let's, let's 
see what that actually is here. That is set right now. Sounds like a side stick type thing. Let's see if we can change that to. There we go. Now we I just changed that to a regular snare. Pad three was a snare, but it's I kind of prefer to have my hi-hats in pad three. So we'll go over here, we'll go with closed hi-hat. Number three, I forgot to change my pad. That's one of the things you want to be sure you do when you're doing this is be sure you're changing the numbers up here to what you're trying to change. Uh, so we'll go with the closed hi-hat now. Guess that's pretty much what I'm looking for. Let's see if we can get a hi-hat for number four. There we go. And then we have some other stuff. So if I go to pad 10, right now, pad 10, we've got a, uh, it's a ride symbol, which not a fan of that. If we go to percussion or perks right here, there's a bunch of instruments that aren't typical parts. For example, these are all cymbals, toms, hi-hats, snares, and kicks. But these are the, the instruments that are like, you know, the... kind of the weird instruments that you, you know that are part of it. most ledger drum kits electronic drum kits hand clap is what I'm looking for though all right now so we've got a hand clap on there now let's go to pad 10 and I'm going to turn down the ambience because I want it to be uh, a little more like a, there we go a little more like a regular regular clap there we go. So I've got, well, it's kind of hard to play this because right now I'm playing on a, a, my eight, uh, MPK Mini, which only has eight pads. So because it reaches over to the second bank, uh, in order to get to the clap, I've got to change banks to get that last two pads. Um, not a huge deal. I just kind of wanted to be able to show you how this worked. Now, aside from all that, once we get over there and get our clap, I can go over here and I can say I want my clap to go all right, all left, somewhere in the middle. I can place it somewhere in the stereo field, whatever makes me happy. I can change my decay amount. I can tune it. I could put several, I could put various claps on different pads. I could make this a clap machine if I wanted to with a bunch of claps and tune them and change the decay on them just to give some variation. EQ right here, like I said, we can mess with this for a second. And then we have compression right here. And then we have a master volume. And we have the ambient mix. Now this is where we can kind of control the final, how much of this whole thing gets mixed with the effects, depending on what we set the value over here for. See what I'm saying? Look at that. So that's how you'd make your own kit. You'd go through, pick the pad or you could pick the pad right here and then choose whatever sound you wanted to be associated with it. It's pretty simple. And then when you're done, just go right up here, click, click user, and then save as whatever you want to name your drum kit. I'm just going to call this my kit, hit save. And there's my kit saved. Now I can go over here and I can play, you know, my first kit that I made, or I can load that other kit that we just made. And that's it. So now we've made a uh, drum kit, custom drum kit, using the pre-built sounds, which you can do yourself. Modify them up any way you want using the limited controls, but you get a really nice drum kit when you're done. It's all acoustic instruments on this particular kit. And you can use this with any other VST that you're using, including uh, anything that's built into Reason, uh, anything that's built into Cubase, pretty much limited only by your imagination what you can do with these these instruments once you get them installed. 
Anyway, I guess that's it for this video. I hope this was helpful to you. I plan on going through the other instruments one by one. If there's something in particular you'd like me to hit up on the way down the list here, let me know. Also, don't forget to uh, like this video if you found it useful. You can subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. And also leave me comments in the comment section to let me know what you thought of the video or if there's something else you'd rather know about. If there's a particular gadget you'd like me to hit up next, I'm happy to you know accommodate you. Just gotta let me know what you want to see. All right, well, I guess that's it for this video. I appreciate you guys coming over and checking it out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Take care. Bye for now.